So first of all, hello everybody and thank you for watching this video. Uh, my name is Annelies Gerard, I'm 28 years old and in 2018 I graduated as a Master in Biomedical Sciences um, and currently I'm a PhD student at the Lab of Translational Research in Gastrointestinal Disorders or also called the Target Lab at the KU Leuven in Belgium with Professor Tak and Professor Van Uitzel as my promoters. I actually did not always want to become a researcher, but during my last year as a master thesis student at Target, I was able to uh, perform clinical trials under the supervision of another of uh, another PhD student. And during this year, I got the opportunity to learn a lot, uh, also about the field of gastroenterology and the world of science. And then I decided to jump into the world of uh, research and to start a full PhD project. At the age of 18 years, I actually first started the training to become a nurse. Uh, but in my last year, I noticed that I was more interested in a scientific explanation uh, behind certain physiological processes than that we learned in nursing school. So therefore, after graduation, I decided to go on and to start uh, to study biomedical sciences at the KU Leuven. And then after graduation uh, as a master in biomedical sciences, I got the opportunity to start a PhD project at the Target Lab. And currently I am almost in my third year as a PhD student. My PhD project is focusing on the pathophysiology and the treatment of refractory gastroesophageal reflux disease, also called GERD. And more specifically, uh, we want to investigate the effect of uh, physiological stress and esophageal uh, permeability on the esophageal hypersensitivity. And also furthermore, uh, we are also running a study with a new treatment for patients with intermittent reflux symptoms. The human digestive system fascinates me because it's such a complex system uh, that can be influenced by many factors, including things that we eat, our emotions, uh, but also physiological stress. But on the other hand, also the human digestive system has also an impact on other physiological processes in the human body, such as the brain. And this bidirectional link, or also uh, known as a good brain axis, is really fascinating and it's only uh, beginning to be unraveled. At this moment, I hope that we can run our clinical trials again on full speed now that the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has improved in Belgium. And I also hope that I can finish my uh, PhD uh, with results that also will have an impact on the treatment, but also in their understanding uh, of the pathophysiology uh, of current patients. Thank you for watching my interview, and I also hope to see you again at the UG Week virtual from 11 to 13 October. And hopefully, you're also present at the talk uh, of the abstract that I'm presenting, which is entitled The Lack of Significant Differences in Somatization, Anxiety, Depression, and Fear of Pain Levels Across the Gastroesophageal Reflex Disease Spectrum. Thank you.